Now a moment of silence for Bo and his loss. I mean, sure, he just stuffed his sister into his own hiking bag, brought her downstairs, and watched her body disintegrate before his very eyes, but look at him. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hanging Gardens of Louisville. Now with actual gardens. I'm just checking on our veggies here. They seem to be coming along quite nicely. So far we only have potatoes and cabbages, but soon hopefully that will change. As you can see, I have more plots prepared down there to plant seeds in. I just want to wait until it starts raining so I don't have to manually haul water. But it's also day 32 and we're going to tackle three things today. Number one, we're going to bury Bo. Finally, it's only been like a month. She's been rotting in that wardrobe. Two, we're going to make stick traps because Bo desperately needs fresh protein and fat sources in his life or he's going to slowly starve to death on vegetables alone. And three, we're going to start more farm plots along the rooftop. I know I already have some, some prepared, like I just said, but I want to get more done. Hauling the dirt is the hardest part at this point. Alright, there we go. Today's goal's all lined up. Very bow stick traps start for more farm plots. But first, Bo can go to his sister's funeral in sports shorts and a tank top, so I'm gonna go get his outfit that I left in the school when I changed for the warmer weather. Before this, I spent the last couple of days doing general cleanup and more dismantling. I'll include a clip of the sped up gameplay on the top left later so you can see the process while I walk to the school. My game was having some frame rate issues, so I dedicated some time to cleaning up the hundreds of items that dropped in the ground in the chaos, and things seem to be working a little better now. It wasn't too bad, but it was definitely noticeable, and I didn't want the quality of the recording to drop for you guys, so... That only took a couple days time, and it's all work that I needed to do anyway, and it was great carpentry XP. It wasn't all that exciting, but I don't really like to leave out the mundane work that I have to do in this series, because I feel like it takes away from the actual effort of what I'm doing, which is its quite an undertaking, to be honest. I know it's just my silly little video series on YouTube of me playing Project Zomboid, but I've never had almost 2,000 kills in a game before. For Project Zomboid, at least. And I'm also a little proud of how much skill development that Bo has had. Right now, I've been trying to work on farming- uh, the foraging, not farming. Already doing that. But working on foraging, I was able to read the foraging book, so we have the bonus XP. I've only really been finding chip stones and rocks, but hey, every little bit counts. And I really feel like we can utilize the foraging skill here in the city quite a bit. I know we'll probably never use the fishing skill, so I wanted to try to use the foraging skill as much as I can. There are no fishing spots nearby, unless I want to go to the central park. Which, that would be quite an endeavor to get to eventually since I'd have to go past the the Louisville Hospital, which is something I definitely don't want to do. There are other large buildings that can spawn quite a few zombies, but I've never seen any as much as the, the hospital in the, my testing. In fact, I actually wanted to do a series that takes place within the hospital where I escape. Wait, 45? And then what? Was that 135 XP I just saw from picking up a West Point map? I could sneeze and find five maps on zombies. Why so much for just a map? Anyway, I'll be back. One second, gotta go find my stuff. Alright, I just looted some stuff from the school and I got my outfit back. I couldn't find my overalls, I think? They might be at my base, but I'm not sure where I put them. I'll have to check when I get home. Just need to pop a few antidepressants here. Business as usual. I see this one. Wait, hold on. I want those sneakers. Those will look pretty neat on Bo. Plus I'm just tired of wearing the plain ones. There we go. That'll be fancy enough for a funeral, I suppose. Alright, let's head home and then we can proceed with the funeral arrangements and get on with our day. I'm just gonna work on some foraging on the way home. Finding lots of rocks. I think I'll probably make the funeral cairn for bow instead of the cross. Look at that, we leveled up foraging. Thanks to like two rocks and a map. I really do love how strongly you can see the erosion happening in this world. I think I set it to the fastest setting as well. It helps to make the world feel like 
really bleak when you're a lone survivor. Great news, I found Bo's overalls at home. We're gonna take a bath here real fast. We can't go to a funeral covered in blood. Well, I suppose you can, but it would probably be really frowned upon, given the circumstances. Okay, let's go grab Bo's sister out of that dresser and take her downstairs. Again, don't look at my crap piles. I'm going to be organizing those here in the next couple of days. And don't worry, my game is running just fine, even with those there now. It's just I had them spread out all over the map. Alright, here she is. Let's... Can I stick her in my hiking bag? Oh my god, I just crammed his sister in a hiking bag. Oh, alrighty then. Um, Let's proceed with the arrangements as planned, despite that horrible bit of information. Hold on, I need something to mark her grave. Here's her keyring and her bass guitar, which is my head cannon that she played bass guitar because I found it in her bedroom closet. Alright, now we're ready. I'll have to come back up and grab the rocks we foraged to make her stone cairn after her burial. I don't want to get jumped by zombies holding an armful of rocks with an actual corpse in my backpack. That would be a really pitiful way for the series to end after I've come so far. Just organizing a bit of stuff here. Having a pre-funeral snack. Okay, let's go put the fun in funeral, shall we? <coughs> I'll start. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to lay Bo's sister, Bo Peep, to rest. She leaves behind her brother whom she tried to bite in turn. She departed this world on July 9th, 1993 during the height of the outbreak. Let us take one last look upon her mortal body before we lay her to rest. Sorry, just pulling her out of my backpack one second. Part of me is secretly hoping she reanimates and tries to bite Bo again. Uh... I... think she disintegrated. Well, that's awkward. Uh... I mean, it's been like 30 some days, so it makes sense. I'm just, I'm just gonna fill up the grave and pretend we buried her. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. Ta-da! All right, let's place down her stuff. Start with the guitar. Right about there, and her key ring as well. Let's not drop mine, but hers. Bo Peep, there we go. Let me arrange it a little more nicely. Alright, there we go. No one will ever suspect a thing. And one stone cairn coming right up. There we go. I don't think I've ever actually made one of these, so this is kind of neat. I built it with my crowbar, okay. Now a moment of silence for Bo and his loss. I mean, sure, he just stuffed his sister into his own hiking bag, brought her downstairs, and watched her body disintegrate before his very eyes, but look at him. He's taking it all in stride. The man is as stoic as he ever was. Anyway, let's get back to work. Alright, I'm gonna go find a safe place to mark my map. I don't like to do it outside. I don't want to get jumped. So I'm gonna go hop in the truck over here and we'll mark this off the list. Alright, berry bow, done. Let's check that off. Use blue. I like blue. Uh, check mark. There we go. Up next we have stick traps. Now, what do I need to make stick traps? I don't actually remember. Uh, twine and sturdy sticks. I believe I, ha I can have or make both of those. Yeah, it's just gonna take planks and I have tons of planks on the roof up there, so. Okay, let's go get that started. Alright, make a sturdy stick. Let's go ahead and speed up the process. Oh good lord, how many am I making? 32 sturdy sticks. That's a lot. I didn't mean to make that many, but I can make five traps. That's good. 
Five traps is pretty good. I'll need to find more twine because eventually they're going to break. All right, let's pack up these traps. Okay, I'm over here at the lowest tier of the building. I don't think this is going to be far enough away, but I do want to try. I'm probably going to have to take it to that large apartment building across the street from me right now. It has to be at least 75 tiles away, and I, like I said, I don't think this is going to be it, but we're sure as heck going to try. Because I don't want to have to haul my butt up those stairs every day to the other apartment building and check on it. Which, you're supposed to put stick traps on roof, because you can still catch birds up here, it's just they're less likely to be eaten by zombies the higher up they are, so. We'll put the five of these down, and then we'll bait them all up with the worms that I have. Alright, the last one. And I'm probably gonna need to put a door to this patio slash balcony area. Because we're missing a door right over there, and I don't want the zombies to come up here and eat the birds and stuck in the traps, or potentially break my traps. So that shouldn't take too long. I can dismantle some stuff in the apartment and just put a quick door up. It won't keep them all out, obviously, because they can open doors, some of them. But it'll lessen the likelihood of them being trampled. All right, so I'm just gonna grab the doorknob. I need a couple of hinges and some planks. Probably dismantle this bookcase. Let's just drop everything on the floor. I can come pick this up later. That's one. I love that this bookcase has to be dismantled in two parts because it's on two tiles. Alright, give me those planks and the nails. Always pick up your nails. I'm gonna try to get the hinges off this door so I don't have to go find them somewhere else. That's another plank. And two hinges, nice! Okay. I might need a couple more planks. I don't remember how much it is exactly. I think it's four. Alright, I'll be taking those. Okay, that should be enough now. Let's move these around a bit so I'm not overburdened. It probably won't be able to lock even though I have the key to this building. I'm not entirely sure how that works. Probably because it was a, a bathroom door. I don't know. I just know I picked up the doorknob from within here. Yeah, no locking. That's okay though. Okay, so stick traps are done. Now we can move on to the farm plots. We're gonna go gather up some dirt. There we go. Okay. I'm just gonna keep pulling dirt from here, even though it looks awful, and I could have done it against the side of the building. I didn't even think about that. But I'm committed now, so I'm going to make the whole street look terrible. I just don't like having to dig it up around these trees. I don't want to get jumped by something coming out of them. I think it'll be okay, though. A little bit of danger makes the gameplay more interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna look around though, I'm nervous. Okay, I think it's good. Yeah, no one's over here, so let's continue gathering the what? Oh, that was me, never mind. I'm a little jumpy, if you can't tell. Alright, that's full. Let's head back. So it started raining on our way back up here. So I'm going to go ahead and plant some of these seeds real fast. Probably do a couple rows of tomatoes here. You always want to plant seeds when it's raining because they won't start collecting water until they are planted. You might have the furrows uh, dug and ready to go, but they won't collect water, oddly. And yeah, I can haul water with a bucket, but I don't want to do that if I don't have to. Prefer to let nature take its course. Alright, time to plant some carrots. Now where are they? I can't... Uh -huh. 
Okay, open the packet. Never mind, I just noticed it stopped raining. Let's go ahead and put those away. And I can go grab the dirt bags and we can start laying down more plots. Let me check the water over here though, because it wasn't raining very long. Yeah, that's not watered at all. I'm going to have to haul water. That's okay, I've got some buckets and pots that I can use. Okay. Let's go grab the dirt plots. Maybe it'll start raining again. Who knows? It's been pretty rainy. Alright, back upstairs. I can put these seeds away for now. Not in the composter over here. Yeah, it looks like that's all of them. Okay, let's grab the dirt bags. I see them on the ground, I think. I just gotta find them in this mess. There's a cooking pot. I'm gonna need that to water them. Alright, buckets of water. Probably use that instead. I think that can hold more. Oh, it's raining again. Okay, I'm gonna go plant these carrots really fast. I just wanted to plant carrots. Apparently that's against the rules. And probably radishes too, if I have enough time before it stops raining. I have to say it's really nice to finally see the actual gardens coming together. I'm gonna have to... Probably in the next few days or so, I'm probably gonna enter debug mode to put down the decorations from the mods that I have. I have like... What is it? 1500 kills? So I'm thinking... Probably like... For every 100 kills I could put down one of the decorations from the mods. Unfortunately, as far as I know though, it does have to be done in debug mode, so you guys will just have to trust me with that. But it's gonna look really nice. I'll put in some of the farming decorations from the mod packs and it's really gonna spruce up the place quite nicely. Alright, time for some radishes. Not the best food, but I'm trying to grow all the food types and vegetables for the aesthetic. Alright, just two more. I'm glad we have so many rain barrels filling up with water too. We're gonna have water forever. Oh, and regarding the decorations, it's only gonna be the ones that I can't obtain in-game. So, just the ones from the mods. Anything that I can obtain as a decoration from around the map, I'm gonna do that. So, no worries on that part. Okay, let's go ahead and put the seeds away. And let's grab the dirt bags and we can lay down more plots. Half of this stuff is actual garbage on the floor, but I was just hauling everything up from the floors below me and the streets where I drop stuff. So I can eventually either put it away or delete it. And as you can see here, there's quite a bit on the floor. Alright, where are the dirt bags? I know they're here somewhere. I can see them on the ground, I just can't find where they are on the list. Alright, sort by weight. There they are. I should probably get a couple more bags. I three is really not cutting it. There are those gravel and sandbags I can pour out at the gardening store that I left behind, so I'll probably do that so I can have at least six bags. I'm gonna have to move this furniture. I just had an idea. I can put all this inside because I've been worrying about having to get rid of it or delete it because I don't need that many plastic chairs. I'm gonna pick up this glass though. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pick up these chairs and tables and move them to the kitchen area of this apartment so they're out of my way and I don't have to worry about them anymore. I wonder how many I can pick up and break those back. Hopefully there's no zombies in there. I didn't check inside. There shouldn't be. It's been pretty quiet. Can I pick up another one? I 
Alright, there we go. We should be able to place these all down now. Just stuff them in here. Doesn't matter where they go. It's such a simple idea, but I feel so smart doing this. I was avoiding this work as much as possible. I could dismantle it, but I'm gonna move it. And these ones. I might move the bench back out here eventually, I'm not sure. But I want everything out of the way for now. It's like the days of like being at a church and packing up everything against the wall. Or at the end of the school year when the teacher would have you move all the desks up against the wall. Now the bench, we'll just cram that over here. And the glass, I can just throw that away. Where's the garbage can? I moved it over here. I could use it as a like an alert system. If a zombie steps on it, it'll make the crunching sound, but I don't feel like doing that. Alright, we'll take the barbecue and probably take it up to my top floor. Gotta take out the tank first. Now pick this up. Oh, the tank. Also, I love the play over words for the George Foreman barbecue. That's amazing. Though technically it's pronounced Jorge, which I butcher with my American accent. All right, let's go put this up. Probably on the next one, not down here since I do most of my cooking and living on this floor. This seems like a good corner to cram it in. Reinstall the tank. There we go. Okay, now we can go finally lay out those dirt plots. Look how full those barrels are. I love it. So much water. And we're gonna need it. Got the shovel on me still. And we're probably gonna do the same layout that we have used on the other ones. I do want to go check my traps first. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to move them farther away, but I do want to check. Close that door. I'm trying to remember to close doors so I can tell if a zombie has passed through. Alright, let's go ahead and click. Okay, they are not set off and they still have bait. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to move them tomorrow or the next day. We'll take care of that later. I want to finish up this project for now. So we'll go back up here. I think I'm missing a couple of sheet roads on some of these. Or maybe I just didn't put them in all the places. I know I put them on either side of the doors. Oh, that's one too far. Brain was an autopilot. Okay, so we'll space it out. Two tiles in, and here we go. This should probably get me like two or three rows, maybe? I think it'll be three. Hopefully you will keep raining so I can plant these today as well. And then six. Over one tile. It's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. Only two rows? Hmm. Yep, emptied them all. Okay. Let's go ahead and dig the furrows while it's still raining. Eh, yeah, we can dig them tonight. It'll be fine. I'm not fighting any zombies tonight, hopefully. 
Hopefully we can get some worms out of this too. Which would be kind of weird since I already dug up this dirt and then putting it down and digging a furrow giving me another worm. We'll see. Alright, almost done. Maybe think about what I'll be planting here. It's 9.20. Probably should get to bed soon. It's not raining that much. Let me check the water on these guys. And it just stopped raining. I guess we're not planting tonight. Alright, that is not a lot of water, but hopefully it will rain tomorrow. If it doesn't rain tomorrow, I'll have to manually water them. back upstairs and let's take a look at our work so far that is coming along really nicely I'm really proud want to get plots all the way down to the bottom but for now that's gonna be it so I'll see you guys in the next one thank you for watching everyone this is genuine toad and I'm happy to have you here